Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, here to do what I melted this week, so my empties and my unempties as usual. Uh, there is a party or something going on next door, I don't quite know, so there might be some noise. Who knows, anyway, we'll push on through. So this week um, I did a lot of L3, so L3 Waxy Wonders. At the moment when I'm doing my... Um, picking my melts for the week. I am still picking them, picking my box weekly, even if I'm not filming it. Um, but I'm sort of really sort of picking from one vendor at a time. Not entirely. There are a few other things mixed throughout here. Um, but yeah, the vast majority of it this week was L3 because I just, my drawers are very, very full. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the Wish so I think I just heard my husband arrive home um from walking the dog. Uh so I'll start with my empties as usual. So one clamshell from Super Tarts in Scallywag. This is salt water, cool water type seagrass and vanilla musk. I really enjoy this one. It's a really nice cologne aquatic scent. So I've got my feet resting on the stool that this is resting on. I'm kind of like, am I making it shake? I think I am. I'm gonna move my feet. Um, yeah, this has a really just interesting tone to it, um, and it is quite salty as well. It does have quite a hit of that salt water, so I really, really enjoy this one. It throws very strongly. I think I've got more of it, but if not, I would get it again if it does come back around. It is a good one. I think it's a specialty one, though. I don't think it's part of her regular line. It was in, like, the Pirates sampler, and I don't think it ever made it to the Okay, bags now. So I finished this bag of Palo Santo Don't Cross Streams. Uh, so Don't Cross Streams being adipose vanilla cookies, vanilla wafer and vanilla ice cream. It's just a great vanilla cookie type scent. Uh, I really enjoy this. This is a really good um, Palo Santo bakery. It is quite sweet. Don't Cross Streams is quite a sweet vanilla cookie mix. But it blends so nicely with the Palo Santo. Like, Palo Santo always goes well with bakery, but this is a particularly good, particularly creamy one. It throws pretty well, kind of medium to high. I do, I fell in love with this one a while ago, and I bought two Biddy Loaves. Biddy Betty Loaves or Biddy Loaves? Anyway, I got two of those, like, smaller loaves. So I've still got one more of them. Um, so I've still got plenty of that to get through. But, um, yeah, have enjoyed that one. L3 Black Sugar, Black Amber and Patchouli. This one is really, really nice. I really enjoy a good black sugar blend. Mm, this one is... It's kind of woodsy and deep, but it's got this really interesting kind of cologne-like take on it that stops it from being overly kind of woodish. Like, it leans feminine, but it's very dark and, yeah, it's a very sexy scent, I think. I don't really get, like, a huge amount of earthiness from it, but I'm sure the patchouli is nice in there. Um, I, I really enjoy it. It throws well. Possibly a repurchase. Mm. Like, I, she's had a few different black sugar and steel sugar type blends with different, um, like, cologne and different sort of oils like that, and... I've enjoyed them all, so it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly this combo, but similar types of things I'd be happy to get. L3 again, of course, green apple, sugar, green apple sugar, cinnamon sugar, buttermilk pie. Very much enjoyed this one. Gosh, it is really loud next door. Um, green apple is definitely one of my preferred apple oils. Like, I'm not a huge apple melter, but I think Mac apple is the one that I'm not the biggest fan of. Green apple smells quite artificial, but it just smells like kind of like a candy pop. But then blended with the bakery from the um, the buttermilk pie and the cinnamon sugar, I really do enjoy cinnamon sugar in a bakery. The apple is just a really nice pop of sweetness in that. So it's a really delicious scent. I uh, really enjoyed it. Great throw. Uh, I think I would get it. Maybe not in a big quantity, but I would get that scent again. I did enjoy it. Uh, L3 cinnamon sugar, cinnamon sugar donuts, espresso fresh baked bread. So really enjoy this one as well. I really like her fresh baked bread oil. 
I'm not sure what happened with this one. It's possible. I think the bag may have not been fully sealed. It didn't throw. It has thrown in the past. Those oils usually last fairly well for me, but this one didn't throw. So it's a shame because the fresh baked bread and the cinnamon sugar donuts, like they went really well together. Um, and then there was just a little bit of a hit of an espresso. So it was a really good blend, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't think, I think it just didn't get stored properly for the end of its life because yeah, it's only from September last year, so it's not like it's super old or anything, but didn't throw. Uh, Lunar Wax Headless Horseman. So this is Red Maple and Oud Wood. Um, I had this on in Halloween, but I only had one piece left, so I just melted it up here. And it's nice. Like, Red Maple is quite sweet, almost like, um, almost kind of bubblegum-like. The oud wood was a nice counter to that. So you still get the real sweet kind of mapley scent. But yeah, just a bit of woodsiness. So this was nice. Uh, throw medium to high. Doesn't feel like a repurchase, but it was fine. Uh, vanilla sandalwood, Palo Santo and Pink Sugar from L3. This one I did in the bedrooms, I think a night or two ago. It's not bad, but it's not one I was like crazy about. Um... It was quite strong on the pink sugar, I would say. So very kind of feminine, almost kind of musky, candy, cologne scent. You can smell a bit of the parlor. And I feel like the vanilla sandalwood, like there's a vanilla kind of... Yeah, vanilla sandalwood, I think it smells a little bit musky to me. And maybe that's where I'm getting that from. I don't know. But anyway, it was, yeah. It was okay. It wasn't anything special. It was kind of medium throw. Uh, I don't think I would need to get that one again. I had, for some reason, I had two bags of this one on the go. So, and there was only two melts in one and one in the other. So I finished them both. Lord of Israel Peeps and Pipe Smoke. So this one is one that I had in a scoop a while ago and I fell in love with. Requested it again in, and it got poured in Matrix Melts. Um, and I didn't love it as much this time. The blend was not the same. It is still a nice Lord of Misrule scent with a bit of extra sweetness and just a touch of extra smokiness, but the first time I ever had it, there was something magical about it. Sorry, I'm resting my feet again, I'm making the camera shake. I apologize. Um, yeah, there's just it's it's a nice Lord of Misrule blend, but it's just not as good as the first version of it that I had. So I don't know if it's the mix, change in oils. I couldn't tell you why it's different, but it is just a bit different. Uh, Good throw, not a repurchase. I bought like three of those Matrix melts because I really thought I was going to be in love with it like I was last time, but no. Uh, L3 Cinnamon Roll Maple Buttercream. So this one, I still don't quite know how it made it here um, because I didn't buy it. It was either a substitute for samples, which is not something L3 normally does, because uh, I didn't get any samples in that order, but I did get this, or it was just a miss. I'm guessing it was a substitute for a sample, right? Like, that would make sense. But when I say, like, it was a sa it's sample, but just, because it was like a, um, it was like an acorn shape, so it was a bit smaller to what they usually do, but bigger than a sample. I, I got three melts out of it. Um, so yeah, cinnamon roll maple buttercream. It's not a bad, sweet, spicy scent. But it was very light, like very, very light. I could barely smell anything. It was, there was a slight creamy cinnamon sort of scent going on, but barely could smell anything. I did it down in the lounge room. So not something I would purchase. Vintage Chic Scents, Ernest Scared Stupid. So this is Campfire Marshmallow Smoky Vanilla Palo Santo Freshly Fallen Leaves. This one is okay. It's not one I'm crazy about. I think the leaves in here is just not quite my thing. And it's a little bit overpowering. So I can smell the sort of woodiness and the sweetness. Like Palo Santo and Campfire Marshmallow are great together. Smoked Vanilla would be good too. But the leaves just doesn't quite work for me here. But it's not bad. Uh, throw medium, maybe. Maybe slightly lower than medium. Um, like I could smell it, but it's definitely not super present. Um, I do have a lot of trouble with vintage cheek scents in this house. I think 
because when was this one from? So this one was from 2020. So this one was on the old side, but I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to remember if I had this one at the old house, but no, this one was poured a couple of months after we moved here. So um, I don't think I've ever had fantastic performance from it, but I think Vintage Chic Sense did, used to do a little bit better at my old house. Um, not a repurchase. That's a long way of me saying that, I think. Uh, super Tarts, I love to laugh. So this is Lemon Curd Tea and Cakes. I'm not sure there's anything else in there, but that's pretty much what it is. I love this one. It is super lemony, and I am over that in a lot of ways, but not in this blend. For some reason, you throw that lemon curd with the tea and cakes together, and it is just incredible. It's so zingy, but in a tea and cakes way, and I just love it. Oh, it smells so good. Um, super strong throw. This was July 2020, so, you know, close to close to two and a half years old now. Still super, super strong. I melted it in here. It was throwing down the hallway. Um, I definitely will get some more of this. I really do enjoy it. I don't reach for it as much as I used to, just because, like I said, lemon scents I am a little bit, like, just not as into as I was, but still. Uh, blueberry muffin roasted coffee French vanilla from L3. I also did, I might as well talk about it because they're so similar if I can find it. I've, I also did blueberry muffin roasted coffee, so that's somewhere in the unempties. Um, very similar, but this one is sweeter, so the French vanilla makes this combo sweeter. Yeah, it's just, it's just an extra vanilla sweetness. So blueberry muffin and roasted coffee is a great combo. Really love it. Like, I do love a good blueberry coffee scent, and this one is just a very good one. Um, I don't know if I love the French vanilla. Like, I don't mind it, but I think I prefer it without. Also, I feel like the one without threw better than this. I don't know why. Um, I think it was poured a little bit, maybe. I think I got it um, a few months before this one, so it could be just extra cure time made it better, or could be the French vanilla watered it down. I don't know. Um, so yeah, the throw, throw was medium, I'd say, for this one, um, but for the other one it was, like, high. Sorry, I'm, like, adjusting myself. Um, not, this one, not a repurchase, but the, um, blueberry muffin roasted coffee one I might. And then Cat in the Hat. So this is, uh, Rainstorm Blackberry Marshmallow. So I have this down in the lounge room today. This one, I remember thinking I was going to really love this one when I bought it. It's, it's okay. It's not a favourite. Okay. Um, yeah, Rainstorm Blackberry Marshmallow. Like, I, did, I just thought that this was going to be an amazing combo, but it's kind of... I don't know. It, it settles. I will say it settles into something that I don't mind, but when it first starts melting, it's just... It just doesn't quite gel. I don't know. Like, the Rainstorm and the black, the Marshmallow just don't quite work. Um, but after a while, yeah, it does sort of mellow out into a kind of sweet, fruity, fresh scent. But it's still not like anything I'm crazy about. It does throw very strongly, but yeah, not one I would repurchase. Okay. So that's the empties. Now on to the unempties. So starting with... So I did fresh picked strawberries from Scoopable. And I did it with... And I'll come to it... Uh, yeah, so I melted it with L3 Sugar Cookie Royale because I just wanted it to be a simple kind of bakery cookie strawberry thing. And it was really good. Um, the fresh picked strawberries on its own is not bad, but it does smell quite chapsticky to me. Um, but with this bakery, like, it was a nice scent. It didn't smell like a, you know, a legit strawberry bakery, but it was, a ni it was just a nice strawberry-esque sort of creamy bakery scent. Can't smell much on the sugar cookie or out here, but it did smell good together. So I like the combo, it threw well. Um don't think I need to do it again. Sugar cookie or out is just a staple blender for me from L3. Um the fresh pick strawberries from Scoopable, I'll probably be good with it um once I'm finished that. I don't think I need to get it again, but you know, so I need to not one minute. Okay. Alright, I really needed, like, somewhere to rest my feet tonight for some reason. And, um, I, the obvious answer was the thing that I'm resting my phone on, but I'm sure I'm making it sway, so stop doing that. 
All right, so super tough, insidious. So this is uh, it's like driftwood vetiver cotton candy. It's got like that um that beechwood vetiver type scent. So I melted this on Halloween. It's a bit of a Halloween tradition for me now. I've melted it I think on Halloween a few times. Um, it was one of my very first loves from Super Tarts. I wasn't feeling it this time around, but I think that's because it just didn't gel with the other stuff I was melting in the house. Like, cause I, and I'll get to them when I get to them, but I was melting more kind of sweet scents, like candy-esque scents for Halloween this year. Um, and this one, I thought because of the cotton candy that it would vibe, but just the the driftwood and that, which normally I love, but it just, there was a note that smelled really weird to me. I'm hoping it's not that I'm going off this scent, because Insidious was a long time love for me with Super Tarts. It was just one of the most unique, interesting blends around. Like, I still don't know how to describe it very well. Other than to say, if you smell beechwood vetiver, then, and if you can imagine that with cotton candy, that's basically what this is. So yeah, it's really strong. Um, I'll see how I go with the last few bits of it, but it's possible it might not be a repurchase after this. I've purchased Insidious. I mean, that bag I got in September 2020, so it was a while ago, but I had multiple clamshells that I went through before I started on that bag. So I have gone through a fair bit of it. So it might not be a repurchase after this. Who knows? Uh, L3 Black Sugar Blue Sugar Exotic Coconut. So this blend is just fantastic. It's, this is my custom doggy bag, but this was a scent that I had in a sample originally and I fell in love and so I ordered the bag. So I don't know whose blend it was, but it, it doesn't smell super masculine. Like you would think black sugar and blue sugar would be like a kind of masculine cologne like scent. I just, it's really hard to describe. It's like a less heavy version of black sugar, I suppose. You can smell a slight coconut note to it. It's Yeah, it's it's definitely a black you can definitely tell black sugar's in there, but it's just I don't know. I really enjoy it. I find this one's really good for like a, I don't know why, but like an overcast day. It kind of feels like a good transseasonal scent because the exotic coconut kind of makes it lean more into like a warm weather type thing, but the black sugar to me is more of a winter scent, so it sort of fits in the middle. It's a terrible way to describe it, but anyway, love the combo. Um, definitely will get more of it once I'm finished that bag. I really enjoy it. Uh, L3 Fresh Pick Strawberries. No, fresh baked bread, fresh baked strawberries, vanilla butter fudge. Uh, so another one of that was uh, I did as a custom, although I have had that blend from Vintage Chic Scents as well. I do really enjoy this one. Uh, the vanilla butter fudge blends really nicely with the bread. It actually has kind of yeasty notes to me anyway. And the fresh baked strawberries is just a nice pop. It throws well. Um... I don't know if it's going to be a repurchase. I do enjoy this bag, but I feel like when I'm done with it, that I might be done with that scent. But still, it's it's nice. I don't remember this one melting at all. I think it's just very light. Uh, Black Ranger from L3. So this is Black Ranger and Butter Cookies Marshmallow Pound Cake. It smells light in the bag, and genuinely, I do not remember it melting. So it smells nice, but it smells light. So I don't know. I'll try it again, but I think it's... Very light for her. I don't her black lady jam butter cookies normally does well, but I'm not that familiar with the marshmallow pound cake. Maybe that's just light. So I have from Super Tarts, don't be a prick. So this is cactus sea salt mandarin lemon eclair champagne. So this one I melted so when I had Insidious on, I actually changed it out because it just was not vibing with the house at all. Um and because it was Halloween evening we actually had, like, the time, the point in time where I decided to change it, we actually had a lot of kids coming past trick-or-treating. Like, I was at the door a lot. So I really didn't have a lot of time because I, this room where I do my wax stuff is up the back of the house. So I really didn't have a lot of time to be up here because the door kept going off, the dog kept going off. So anyway, I just grabbed the first thing that I thought would not, 
be completely inoffensive against everything else I was melting. And this was fine. Um, I can't say anything about it stood out to me particularly much. It smells smooth. It smells citrusy. It smells a bit fresh. Um, like, it's a nice scent. I hadn't melted it before. It is nice, but it just, yeah, nothing really stood out to me in any particular way with it. So, um, I'll try it again another time, but it didn't wow me, but it was fine. The throw is medium to high. Doesn't feel like a repurchase, but we'll see. Uh, Palo Santo and American Werewolf from Super Tarts. This is Palo Santo Homemade Biscuits Vanilla Bean Whipped Cream. Love this combo. Oh, it is an amazing Palo Santo bakery. Um, her Palo has a little bit more of a, and I mean it's subtle, right, but a slightly more kind of incense spice to it than some of the other parlors out there. Again, not like, I'm not saying it's like Nug Champ or anything like that, but it just has just a little bit of that, which I think goes really, really well in a bakery blend. And this one is great because I think sometimes her Palo Santo gets a bit lost in blends, but American Werewolf is a light bakery scent for me. It's not super present. So in this combo, the two of them together worked really well. It actually threw pretty well in my bedroom. Like, I don't think I'd do it in a bigger space, but in my bedroom, it was fine. Oh, it smells so good. So freaking good. I have another clam of it, but yeah, I would get it again keep it in a smaller space just it's very very good super tarts bernadette so this is uh sugary milk blueberry pound cake so this was um probably the only blueberry scent from super tarts that i haven't tried or blueberry bakery scent anyway it's not bad um it's not my favorite one i like oklahoma way more but this one's still pretty good it is very sweet like the blueberry oil is sweet and the sugary milk makes it sweeter and it's just a very sweet blueberry scent but the blueberry tone is nice so this is a good one it throws pretty well not a hundred percent sure if it's a repurchase like I said so beast and I said it just before Oklahoma those two they may have different names Oklahoma's probably got the same name beast may be renamed I'm not sure beast is blueberry and cornbread and Oklahoma is blueberry and biscuits. Those two I like a lot more, but this was still pretty good. Purge from Super Tarts. This is Pine Beechwood Pheromones. Another one I just love. I haven't melted it in a long time. This one and Insidious were two of my first Super Tarts loves, and I remember melting so much of both of them. They do share um, an oil because I'm pretty sure the Beechwood reference is Beechwood Vetiver or similar. Um, so there's definitely a shared characteristic between Insidious and this one. I used to prefer Insidious, but now I think I prefer Purge. I just really enjoy the, the pine note, and Pheromones is a really nice cologne scent. I really enjoy Pheromones. It's got a slight kind of, I think it's grapefruit or something, so it's got a slight tart citrusy note to it. So yeah, this is a really good combo. It's always super strong. I don't reach for it very much these days, so it's not one I need to repurchase a bunch of, but still really like it. This one I did not close properly. Now I'm dropping wax crumbs everywhere. Um, so this is L3 Spiced Oat Milk Cafe Cubano. Um, I just got went and closed the bag and I'm literally about to open it up again tonight. Um, I've talked, I feel like I talk about this one all the time because I melt it like every other week. It's one of my absolute favourites. It's just comforting. It is like a spiced oat milk drink. That is as good as I can get. It doesn't smell coffee-like to me. But it does smell like a really comforting, warm, blended, like, spiced drink with oat milk. It's so delicious. It's It throws well. Normally I do it in my office up here. This time I did it in the kitchen and it still, still threw well. Um, it's always going to be a repurchase. It's just an absolute staple of mine. I melt it all the time. I never get sick of it. Uh, L3 Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Vanilla Butter, Butter Fudge and Espresso. So this one I thought I was going to really love because I love Vanilla Butter Fudge, love Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and her espresso is not bad as well. I prefer roasted coffee but only because I'm not 
a roasted coffee to me is more of like a bakery coffee kind of scent. Espresso is a bit more roasted and I just, I don't, yeah, anyway. But I didn't love this one. This one had a weird, very oversweet kind of thing going on and I don't quite know why. Maybe pumpkin pecan waffles and vanilla butter fudge together just don't actually work as well. Although I think I have another blend that has them together. But it has other things too, you know. So yeah, there was something about this that was really sickly and off-putting. I don't know what, what the deal was with that one because I really thought I was going to love it. Through well, but yeah, at this stage I don't think that's a repurchase. Uh, this loaf, I think I'm going to just try and finish this up next week. It's so close to being done. Um, pumpkin pecan waffles, palo santo, sugar cookie royale, and this hair stuck on it, and sugar shortbread. This has just been fantastic. This is such a good blend. This is the beautiful, dense bakery scent, slightly enhanced by the palo santo. None of the bakery elements really stand out. Like, it's not a pumpkin become waffle heavy scent. It's like a cookie scent, but it's super dense, you know? And the Palo Santo just adds a little bit of depth to it. It's really good. This one still through really well. I did it in the lounge room. Um, this was from April last year. So, um, yeah, over 18 months old and still did very, very well. Um, I would definitely get this blend again. Loved it. Um, but yeah, I think it's with the loaves. Once I get to that end is in sight. Um, I feel like I just need to push through and get them done. I did do a bit more super tarts than I thought. I think it was pretty much just I went, I raided the L3 drawer and then I topped up with the super tarts clams. So uh, this is Eden from super tarts. Um, this is pomegranate apple cider and toasted marshmallows. This one used to be Lost Boys, I think. I've actually never tried it before. Sorry, I thought I heard something. It might have been my son talking in his sleep. Um, I did this one in the bedrooms on Halloween. It's it's not bad. I don't know if it's something I love. And particularly on cold, the pomegranate and the apple cider together are just a bit not quite my favourite. But the marshmallow I felt was really interesting in there. Like when it was melting, it just... the creaminess of the marshmallow sat with those tents two cents in a way that just made me just kind of got my attention you know like it, it wasn't anything that I was like this is amazing I need more of but it just yeah it was just a bit more interesting than a pomegranate cider scent on its own so yeah I like this one not a love it did throw very strongly it was an incredibly strong scent um it doesn't feel like a repurchase at this stage but I will enjoy melting the rest of it I think I did Super Tarts Rain and Sweater Weather together. I don't know why. With Super Tarts Rain, like, it could go so well with so many things, but I keep leaning on the same blenders over and over. So, um, and I know they work. They're great combos. So this one with her Beechwood, amazing, but also with her Sweater Weather. Um, her Sweater Weather is not the kind of, it's not like the candle sweater weather. It hasn't got that really sharp kind of eucalyptus and sage thing going on. That real air clearing kind of thing that scent has. Um, I think I've heard people say it smells more like the body care version maybe. I'm not familiar with the body care versus, so I don't know. But anyway, it's a really nice outdoorsy scent on its own as long as you're not expecting that really crisp sweater weather candle scent. Yeah, it's a great scent. It blends so well with rain. They throw so well. It's just, I love the combo. I just need to venture out a little bit more. Um, and I would definitely get both of those blended again. They are very good. L3 Diet starts Monday. So this is Cotton Candy Frosting, Sugar Cookie Royale, Santa's on Keto and Sugar Shortbread. Um, this is good. I think I'm getting a bit over it. Um, I think maybe a loaf was a bit ambitious with this one. It is, I have enjoyed it. Um... But yeah, I think it's just a little bit too sweet for me now. Like it, I mean, obviously with cotton candy, frosting and all of those things, it was always going to be a very sweet bakery. And yeah, I've enjoyed it, but now it's just a little bit too much. It always throws well. It's always a scent. I tend to do it, like if I'm up here in the office, I tend to do it down in the lounge room. So, you know, so it smells good down there, but it's not something I'm like smelling all the time. I might just... 
unsure if I just push on through there's maybe nine months or so left if I just push on through and get it finished or if I rest it for a while and see if I like it when I come back to it later don't know uh, blueberry cobbler and fresh baked bread from L3 so this one this one I've had here for a while actually um, as you can see by the label that's falling to pieces um, this is a great blend simple but just delicious blueberry scent her fresh baked bread I love that oil it doesn't necessarily smell legit 100% like authentic fresh baked bread but it's just a really great bakery blender that leans more savory than sweet you know so with something like blueberry cobbler which could get a little bit too sweet blending it with the bread is just a nice balance you know so yeah I love this one it blends really well with coffee as well um this one throws super strongly still um 100% would get this one again when I'm done with it I haven't been reaching for it much though I need to reach for it a lot more this was from June last year I think I think that's what it says anyway so then we have uh, Pitchfork so this is Hayride Cashmere Cedar Rainstorm from L3 this is a really good one as well Cashmere Cedar is a blender that I very much enjoy it's quite outdoorsy and fresh but it also has like a slight body care kind of element to it um and the rainstorm is obviously very fresh very flow it's a very floral rain scent the hayride kind of is like a grass note but a bit more subdued so it's just a really nice refreshing outdoorsy combo so yeah i really enjoy this one um it always throws very well for me I think I would probably get it again when I'm done with it. It's probably not a loaf this time. I think less would be fine, but yeah, it's very good. I did uh, Pacific Woods Frosted Juniper Cranberry Woods. So this is another one of my customs. And this one, as far as I know, I mean, you never know. Someone may have com combined it, but as far as I know, this was my own brain thought of this one. Um... And I just, it is just so freaking incredible. And I think this one's been requested a few times now. I think I've seen it pop up on the list. I think it was in the most recent pre-order. It was, because I almost got more of it. But I went, I'm only sort of halfway through this bag. I don't need to get any more now. And if people are really loving this blend, I can just request it again later down the line. But still. <coughs> on cold, it always, it always smells a little bit concerning, because it does... Um, Pacific Woods, Cranberry Woods, and Frosted Juniper, I think, are all very intense oils. And it does smell like it could just be too much, too overwhelming, too much stuff thrown into it. But the blend is just perfect. It's You get that sharpness from the um, Cranberry Woods, but much more of a kind of fresh pine thing going on. The Frosted Juniper, I don't know what it does in there, but it's amazing. Like, it's this is just... An incredible blend like it I think it's if, like if you took Pacific Woods and added more complexity and a pop of cranberry like that's kind of where it gets to but anyway love it love it love it strong throw definitely will get more of it just absolutely adore that scent um, I also did just Pacific Woods on its own which is pine waterfall cedar and sandalwood this is I mean this is a great oil to stand alone it blends well but it's so good on its own as well It's just a great, like, it makes me think of, like, you know, walking through a forest and all of the stuff that, you know, is underfoot, like, earthiness, different trees, woods, bark, leaves, pine needles, all, just all sorts of stuff. Like, it just makes me think of that kind of slightly, it is slightly earthy. Like, I think that maybe the waterfalls... Like, it's not, like, super aquatic, but it just has that kind of slightly damp, earthy feel. So, love it. Great throw. Always will repurchase that one. L3 again. Buttermilk Pine. Today's October 3rd. So, Palo Santo. So, the, the today's October 3rd. Oh, no. This has got all the notes. So, Palo Santo. Toasted Mellow. Sugar Cookie Royale. Vanilla Custard. Sugar Cookie. Creme Brulee. Pie Crust. This is a great combo. 
Buttermilk Pie is a great vanilla, slightly kind of, it's just, it's a vanilla bakery, but the creme brulee note to me really shines in it. And then you add, add the slightly woody and extra bakery creamy sweet notes from the Today's October 3rd. It just goes really well. Always really enjoy it. It can be, a, I feel like this time it almost bordered on a little bit too sweet. Um, but just, it was just on, just shy of being too sweet. So something to watch, but still very good. Very strong throw. I do have more of that after this. So I think I have like just one bunch from a sampler. So, but it probably would be still be a repurchase. Uh, roasted coffee, pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla butterfly sugar shortbread. So this is the one I was thinking of where I said, um, cause I was talking about that pumpkin pecan waffles vanilla butter fudge blend before that I didn't like so much the one with just espresso this one is amazing so that's why I think I was surprised that that one didn't work so well for me differences obviously being roasted coffee versus espresso um but then roasted coffee if anything is a slightly more sweet like I don't think it's sweet but it's not as sharp as espresso so anyway um and then the sugar shortbread. You would think that this one would be sweeter, but I think it just balances out the pumpkin pecan waffles is, and the vanilla butter fudge are not as overbearing. And sugar shortbread just is a very, very good blender. Like, it just adds this tone to any bakery blend you put it in that's really, really good. So this only has a slight touch of coffee to it. It's just an amazing bakery mix. Like, I just can't get enough of this one. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Um, it always throws very well for me. 100% will get that one again once I'm done with this bag. It is fantastic. So this is the scent that I had melting in like the living area on Halloween. So it was kind of like the star scent. Because uh, I realized after I picked my wax this week that I hadn't picked anything for Halloween. And this one was just, it arrived recently from Empire Alchemy. And I went, this one just really feels like the scent I want for Halloween. So this is Toil and Trouble, and this is uh, Ginger Ale Lime Sherbet Margarita Salt and Halloween Candy. On cold I wasn't sure because I felt like the candy note came out a little bit too much. But I loved this warm so much. It's really, a, I really feel like, it has a lot of complexity like Empire Alchemy blends always do. But I feel like what really shines here is the really kind of tart but sweet margarita and the lime sherbet. Like, there's this really kind of... It's like a fizzy lime, but the lime and ginger. It's lime and ginger together because it's not just lime on its own. Fizzy lime on its own would probably irritate me, but the ginger ale together with it just creates this amazing scent. And then... There is a slight extra sweet kind of candy note, but it's not overwhelming. It is just, it was so good. And it was just the perfect scent because it kind of felt fun for Halloween, but it wasn't because the night was, Halloween here was actually, like it was humid and absolutely bucketed down. Like my poor son and my husband and the people they went out trick or treating with uh, got absolutely drowned. Um, so this kind of has like a, I feel like the ginger ale in it just keep, kind of keeps it, gave it like a bit of a warmth and made it not be too, you know, too like fun and fizzy and fruity or whatever. But yeah, it just, it was perfect. It was exactly the sort of scent I wanted. Uh, great throw. This one threw super strongly. Um, I always have struggled with um, Empire Alchemy scents because I do, as much as I love them, they tend to be so unique that I'm just like, I don't need to melt. I don't know. I just did like this is not a scent I need to melt all the time. So I don't know if it's going to be repurchased, but absolutely loved it in the moment. Will love the rest of it. You know, possibly will get it again. But it is great. It's just I have this thing about Empire Alchemy blends that I'm just kind of I like to savor them and then I am good to move on. I don't know why that I don't know why that works in my head, but it works. Uh, L3 Buttercream Frosting Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royal Wildberry Mousse. I've talked about this blend so many times. I just love it so much. Favourite berry bakery scent. I've gone through multiple puppy packs of it, I think. Probably have slowed down on it a little bit because I'm still only halfway through this loaf. I got it in January. 
which is pretty fast for me for a loaf, but still. It's just, I mean, I love wild berry mousse, and in this blend, so buttercream, frosting, zucchini, bread sugar, royale is a great creamy bakery blend on its own. I've had it on its own. It goes, it's great. So you could pair in just about anything with it, but wild berry mousse is an especially good combo. Love it. Great throw. Always really purchase it. It's just, I don't know. It's just fabulous. Um, Blackberry Rainstorm Costa Rican Rainforest from L3. So I have this one on as well at the moment in my son's room. Um, and I put it on because I was also melting the Cat in the Hat, which is Blackberry Rainstorm and Toasted Marshmallow. So I went, well, look, there's similarities between the two. And I actually thought on cold that I would like Cat in the Hat better. This one I prefer. Because I think in Cat in the Hat, the marshmallow is what feels off in that blend. Whereas this one is just super duper fresh and aquatic and humid and floral. And the blackberry is not super strong. But the extra fruitiness, I don't know, it just it does something nice in here. So I actually really enjoy this one. Um, it's throwing pretty well in my son's room. I don't know if I like it enough to repurchase, but it is good and it's definitely... Um, I don't know why, because I think I have Costa Rican Rainforest. I haven't melted it yet, but I do have it in a tree tart. And it. I don't know if I love the scent profile on it on its own, but in a blend it seems to work fine. King Arthur from L3. So this is Juniper Berry Sage Dew Creamy Vanilla and Pheromones. So I had a few of these Juniper Berry Sage Dew scents, I think. I don't know if I love this one. I did when I first got it. I know I really enjoyed it when I first got it, but now there's kind of a freshness, but there's also a really sickly sweet element to it. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I remember melting this and just being like, look, it's okay. It's kind of fresh and outdoorsy, but there's this weird sweetness to it that I just don't love. Um, yeah, strong throw. Possible, probably not a repurchase. Like, I just, I don't know. Uh, I did pretty much, I feel like I did, like, all of my customs this week. So, roasted coffee, blueberry pumpkin patch, and sugar shortbread. So, this is pretty good, but it is predominantly just a blueberry pumpkin patch scent with a little bit of extra bakery. The coffee is almost non-existent in this, which is my own fault. I did ask for it to be dialed down, which I've realized now you don't need to do with roasted coffee. It is not super strong. So yeah, this is a good blueberry pumpkin bakery scent. It's not like an absolute favorite. Maybe I'm going off blueberry pumpkin patch a little bit, which would be sad because I do love that scent. But I just remember this time I was like, yeah, it's good, but I'm not like, you know, crazy about it. Uh, Strong Throw at the moment doesn't feel like a repurchase. Super Tarts Zeus. So this is coffee, vanilla ice cream, blueberry cornbread. So this is just another blueberry um, coffee scent. I love blueberry bakery coffee scents. They do all smell kind of similar. Like I said, I also did, so I talked a bit before about the blueberry muffin and roasted coffee. I had all of these on at the same time and really, I they are different, but when melting, I didn't know, like it's it smelled pretty similar throughout the house. Yeah, there's definitely differences. Like, when I smell them cold, they're not the same. But the effect, honestly, when they were melting, I if I probably couldn't have told you what one was in what room. So, but still, Zeus is one of the first blueberry coffee bakery scents I fell in love with. So, I still do really enjoy it. It always throws well. Um, I have quite a few claims of it. I don't think I need to think about repurchasing because I just, I went overboard with that scent. And blueberry, I, I feel like I've talked about this on enough. Like, I do really enjoy it throws well. Uh, machete from L3. So this is Flapjacks, Blueberry, Pumpkin Patch and Pecan Waffles. So like I said, I did a bit of Blueberry Pumpkin Patch melting this week and I was a bit like, Ugh. so I think I need to take a break from it. And this one in particular, I did enjoy it when I first got it, but it smells incredibly sickly now. Like the Flapjacks and the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles together, just too much with this blend. So 
This one might have been the one that I was most off put about when all of those scents were melting, but because um, I definitely remember one was much sweeter and much more just, yeah, a little bit over much for me. Um, it threw very strongly, but yeah, it doesn't feel like a repurchase at the moment. Caramel apple, pumpkin macaw waffles, and today's October 3rd from L3. Love this one. I love her caramel apple oil. It is so good. Even though I'm not a caramel or an apple fan that much, but the caramel apple oil, I just love it. And then here, pumpkin macaw, pumpkin macaw waffles just adds a bit of richness. Today is October 3rd. Just, it's a really great combo. Always throws well. This is the second bag I think I've been melting of it. Um, and I think I will get more of it when I'm done. I just love that combo. Uh, Thriller Zucchini Bread from L3. So this is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, Cheesecake and Zucchini Bread. So again with the Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. This one... If there was ever a zucchini bread blend that smelled like feet to me, and zucchini bread doesn't normally smell like feet to me, but this one almost is there. And I don't know why, I don't know what it is about the combo, but the, the, the zucchini bread just smells kind of funky to me. And it's weird because I normally love the zucchini bread so much. But yeah, this, just in this combo, Maybe it's a cheesecake, because cheesecake can get slightly sour, and maybe that just kind of muddles things up a bit. I don't know. Anyway, I liked it, but didn't love it. Again, a bit over blueberry pumpkin patch. That one threw well, but probably not a repurchase. Strawberry pound cake, pumpkin pecan waffle, sugar cookie royale. Uh, this one was okay. It wasn't like what I was crazy about. So her strawberry pound cake can be a bit hit or miss for me. It works... I don't like it solo. It works in some blends. In this one, it was maybe a little bit too much of it because it, it is a bit of an art. Just dropping stuff everywhere now. It is a bit of an artificial strawberry pound cake, and I could definitely smell that here. I feel like after it melted for an hour or two, it settled down into just a nice bakery with a pop of strawberry pound cake. Um, but it took a little while to get there. So it was not bad. It threw reasonably well, maybe medium high in this room. It doesn't feel like a repurchase, but it's fine doing this one in my kitchen at the moment so rainstorm fresh cut grass and palo santo really enjoying this one um it was a bit of a gamble getting it because the fresh cut grass oil i'm not often a fan of and it is super crisp and fresh but the palo santo does exactly what i was hoping it would do which is just like it just stops it from being too much like rainstorm is like floral but so it's it's a rainstorm, but there's floral notes to it. Fresh cut grass is very peppy. Sometimes it's got like too much of an outdoorsy sort of, I don't want to say sweetness, but there's just this, it's just a bit, it just can be a bit much. But the Palo Santo just is a beautiful anchor for this blend. This adds depth and just makes it just really, really enjoyable. Um, it's throwing really well out there. And yeah, every time I go out there, I just, because I've had a few different fresh, or rainstorm-esque blends going in the house tonight and this one just seems to be my favorite like and I I wasn't expecting that but is what it is so I probably would get that I think I would get that one again doing this one in here at the moment so this is Fraser's Ridge from L3 so this is fir and blackberry sage um now so when I came into the room I didn't mind this when I first put it on, it has a really weird herbal sour note. I think it's blackberry sage. There's something about that oil that just smells weird and off to me. Thankfully, though, only for the start. I don't know how long until that sour tone wears off, but um, it's obviously not happening now. Um, so right now, it just smells kind of tree-like and kind of smooth, slightly blackberry-like. But yeah, just because of the first couple of hours with this one, I think I'm not a huge fan. Uh, it throws pretty well, but yeah, not a repurchase. Vintage Chic Scents Drunk Witches. So this is Palo Santo Wood, Warm Amber, Soft Musk, Coconut Bourbon, Campfire Marshmallow. Um, this one is okay. I think I used to like it more than I do now. 
Now, I don't know if it's like the coconut bourbon, but there's a note in here that just doesn't quite gel with me. Warmed up, it was kind of sweet and woodsy and amber-like, like it was not bad. I didn't really smell that coconut bourbon note too much. I can smell it now though, and I'm not loving it. Uh, this one's sort of light to medium throw again. Like I could smell kind of a sweetness and a slight woodiness in the air, but that was it. Maybe medium, I'll say medium. Like I could definitely smell it, but it just, yeah, wasn't as strong as what I would like. Um, not a repurchase. Not too many more. Uh, I don't remember this one. So pumpkin, peanut, brittle, butternut pie. I don't think this one throws well because I feel like I've done this twice now. I've put it on and then I'm like, I can't remember it melting. And it has a weird... It almost smells like pistachio nuts with like the, the green kind of quality. And I don't know why that is. So I I don't know what it is with this blend. Um, but I, maybe I need to melt it in my office next time to get my head around it. Fuzzy socks and hoodies from L3. So this is juniper berries, creamy vanilla, sage and dew. So similar to that King Arthur blend I was talking about. I think that was basically the same blend but King Arthur has like pheromones. And yeah, I, I used to like this combo. I don't anymore. It's got just got this weird creamy sweetness to it that I don't love. Yeah, I don't know what it is about it, but I used to like it, and now I don't. Great throw, but yeah, not a repurchase. Melted some steel sugar on its own from L3. I just really enjoy steel sugar, um, especially because it was quite cold earlier this week. And I wanted something just really fuzzy and warming and cozy, and this is this one always hits the spot. Mm, I really love really love steel sugar, and hers always throws really well. Love it, always a repurchase. Mars's Mercy. So this is rainforest sugarcane, fir trees, creamy vanilla. So I melted this at the same time as that fuzzy socks and hoodies in the other one, and so. I don't know if there's, because I feel like as I sort of think back over this video, I feel like I've written off quite a few things this week as being too sweet. Um, whether this is like a permanent nose change or just a temporary thing, I don't know. But I feel like I'm just reacting to sweet scents um, in a way I never used to. Because this also smelt just too creamy and weirdly sweet. And I used to really, really enjoy this one, but I just feel like this, I'm very sensitive to the sweet notes at the moment. Which wasn't a problem in it in across everything I melted. There was some scents that were sweet and I loved it. But just these outdoorsy ones with this touch of creamy vanilla and like oh, vanilla notes. I used to love that kind of outdoorsy scent with a slight vanilla. But yeah, just all of this, it just felt like the vanilla took over. And I just didn't love it. So another one that threw really well, but yeah, not repurchasing. And these two labelless loves, which I'm... I'm really bad with my L3 and keeping labels on. Uh, this one is just, I think this one is just oak moss and amber, which I enjoyed. I like that oil. Really good throw. It's just fresh and mossy and good and slightly kind of cool. Like the amber just adds like a slightly polished tone to it. So I love that one. Probably don't need to get that specifically because I have blends with it in that I like more but still really good and this one is it's like smoked vanilla camp, campfire mallow palo santo and maybe something else I've been really enjoying it light lately as a sweet and smoky scent it used to smell too much like smoked vanilla for me and that definitely is in here it's almost like a spicy smoked scent but yeah, no, I, I quite enjoy this one now. So again, I pulled this one out when the weather was quite cool earlier this week. It's going to be quite warm in, it, in the upcoming week, but we had some quite winter-like days this week. Um, so yeah, I like this one. I would probably get it again, but in a much smaller quantity than a loaf. I mean, I've sat on this loaf forever, but um, and it still throws really well. That's it. That's everything that I melted. Like I said, mostly L3. Next week's box is mostly Teddy Bees. Again, it's not 100% Teddy Bees. There are a few other scents in there, but I really rated the Teddy Bees draws hard this week. Um, and particularly because there are quite a few sort of summery scents that I want to try. And this week is going to get 
kind of warm so um, felt like a perfect time for it so I will leave it there um, I hope you're all doing really well I'll talk to you all again soon bye